Manchester City 2, Leeds United 1. City were, were, were fairly dominant for the whole game. But that Gundogan missed penalty was poor. And the defending from Ake was poor for the Rodrigo goal. Not Ake, sorry, I mean Akanji, sorry. Um, when you actually look at the possession stats, they only had like 18% possession and nearly got something out of the game. But we made hard work out of that, you have to say, because we were dominant up until that point where they scored and Gundwan takes the ball off Haaland for the penalty. But I'm sorry if... If you're going to take a penalty off off a player who's your regular penalty taker, you've got to score it. Because if, cause if you take the ball off a player who who usually takes your penalties and then mess you look like an idiot, and that's what Gundogan's done. On, on, on a good point for Gundogan, though, he did get the two goals to win us the game. He was our man in the match in this game. Haaland was, 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 not, was not at it today. He missed a lot of chances. I thought Foden re- re- wasn't really in the game. I thought Rico Lewis had a really good game. I thought Rodri did well when he came on because he did put in a couple of really good headers. That just shows how poor our defence is when Stones and Diaz aren't on there. Because... We 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 get we get a blow mid second half with Ake going off. Hopefully his his injury isn't too serious because we've got Ramadred away, um in midweek, and I think our our two best centre backs are easily John Stones and Ruben Diaz. Laporte just lo- looks like he doesn't care about the club at the moment. And he looks like his head's not in it. I think he's definitely gone in the summer. I thought Akanji, he he didn't have his best game to be to be to be fair. He he was he was all right up until what he did for the Rodrigo goal, where he headed it into Rodrigo's path. But for me, I know I know Pep loves Akanji, but for me, we've got to go back to our. Our regular back four and play Stones, Diaz, Walker and Ake at left back. We need a left back because we can't keep playing Ake there because it's not his natural position. I know he can play there but he's better at centre back and, and, and he often gets injured. So we need a left back there in the summer. For me, Haaland should always be on penalties because our, he's our best penalty taker at the club. This this scoreline could have been like 3 or 4 nil or even more. But because we were naive with the missed penalty, And we missed too many chances, which we can't afford to do against Real Madrid in midweek. And also the second leg as well. And I think... it, it It's a big win because I was nervous when it went 2-1 because I was worried that we were going to crumble, but we didn't. We stayed resolute at the back and um, we kept the ball nicely. Um, I think the second half was pretty much dead other than the goal that Lee's got in the penalty miss from Gundogan. First half, we were absolutely superb. Second half, we didn't really do much. It was just game management. It's a big win, that. Hopefully, Arsenal can drop points at St. James Park into Newcastle tomorrow. Because if, if they do, then I think we're in a good position to win the title for the f- third year in a row and fifth year in six years. Um, but I don't know what what's going on with Mares, because recently, other than the Sheffield United game, he's been poor. And when Foden's played, since his appendix, 
he 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 he's not been great either. Because he wasn't really in the game today. But wins like 2-1 and 1-0 are what win you titles. Because when you're playing these bottom half of the table teams, at this stage of the season, it's always going to be hard. So we've got the three points. Now we can move on to Madrid midweek and then from there go to Everton. We just need to keep taking it game by game because if we overlook a game and, and, and not take it by game by game then we could end up struggling but we need to make sure that we take it game by game and keep and keep going come on the blues big three points i'll do the five things learned maybe maybe later and if it's not later i'll do it tomorrow